So that's Daniel Tiger in the background. And this is day three hair. I just tied it up because it was down, but it was like out here. It, on day one, it started out here. And by day three, it was like out here. I know I think for people it's backwards. They start out with volume and it just flattens out. Mine starts out flat and just goes out. But anyway, welcome back. And I'm just gonna jump right into my home decor thrift haul. So we're going to start with a good item first. I don't know if there are like bad items, but anyway, maybe for some. I just wanna show like the intricate detail on this gold frame. I've been looking for a gold frame to place above our mantle, which I'll show you. We're planning on putting one of those televisions that has artwork eventually, but right now, this is what we've got. I saw a giant frame somewhere else first, and it was $80, and I was like, nope. But I'm glad I went to the next spot, found this one for only $18, and this is what it looks like. Sorry about that. You guys know that I was like trying, <laughs> trying to take care of the baseboards in the house, but anyway we'll ignore that because that's been there for almost six months i don't know <laughs> but that's real life like i was saying we got this the picture is uh the the muted like peachy pink the white i think i like the white and green even though the green's muted but the original plan was to take this and pop this old 80s vibe pick. It's all right, which I also paid 18 bucks for, but because I like this part, this part makes me happy, don't know what it is, and pop it into here for a pop of color on the wall, even though I kind of wanted to stay away from blues. This is more like a, I don't know, it's not coming up on camera, but don't touch it. It's like a, not a turquoise, but, I don't know, it's a more blue-green tint than that blue in the corner. But yeah, that was the original plan. Put this one into here. So I'm not sure if I'm going to switch this one out just yet. Or possibly sand this wood and spray paint it again the same color. I'm not sure what's going on there. That's an idea. Also, if we ever do get that TV for above the mantle, this would then be turned horizontally. And be put right here because I've yet to find the perfect mirror for the entryway. And I think the gold rectangular giant frame would be amazing. And we would replace this glass with a mirror. So, two purposes. I love the mantle or possibly a mirror in the future as well. Still not sure about that print. Maybe I will have something else printed and maybe make this... Um, take the brown maybe from there pop it in here and get some sort of print TBD also this is the best light I'm gonna get in here I was gonna film this morning but the Sun's now in this side so I mean oh that was a lot of light I'm not sure if that's like better or worse but okay whatever we're gonna leave it like that for now but yeah <laughs> look at this shadow right there I love it anyway this one was only $7.97, and it's funny because I had already paid for it, and I'm not kidding, it's, it was like an 80-year-old woman went to the counter to ask if it was anybody's, and it was, and she wanted to purchase it. So, yes, that means I have the style of an 80-year-old woman, but I'm not mad about it. Also, I mean, I love the volume of my pony, but I, I don't know what's going on. And I broke out. After my period, not sure what that was about. I had like clear skin during my period. Of course, I still have those blemishes, but I didn't have like an active breakout. Now I do. Again, I, maybe it was because I took a hike in a mask. There's a lot of people out. It's like you can't do anything outdoors now without a mask because everybody's out there trying to get their walk in, which is fine. But still, back to my 80 year old style. Also, I got this, I don't know, back in September to put into my little area with my lamp and my bonsai. And then I also got like a different little music box. But, you know, we're, we're not going to adjust this right now. We've got this. And I thought my husband wasn't going to like 
the image inside. I got it because of the, let me see if I can get in here. I got it because of like this braiding detail in the frame, which I thought was kind of cool. And he actually liked this, even though he says his mom more than likely had one like 20 years ago. But yeah, totally fine. He actually likes it. We just have to find a spot for it. It's just, I was, I was lacking a bit of like things to put on my wall and ignore that yellow blob okay that's meant to be white we never switched it out and this is just an artwork there's no frame to it maybe i can find a nice gold frame but i don't know i just love like the yellow the reds and the blues with the white in it i don't know something about it just brought me joy so we're going with that and this was i think a dollar 91 this didn't have a price on it and I told the guy, hey, if I spend $100 or more, is, do you get one item for free? And he joked around when I told him I didn't have a price on this after I made that comment. He's like, don't worry about it. So I got it for free. And although I think he charged me for like two hats that were behind the register that weren't mine. But we'll ignore that. It's fine. It was like six bucks, but 50% off of one. So four fifty. dollars And as you can see, that was the locking mechanism. You open it, it comes with four plastic blue plates, four plastic little mugs. Uh, that looks way worse in the shadows. I promise you it's not that bad. There's like a little yellow staining right here in the corner, which I don't know if I can manage to get this off. I think it's sewn in, but I think I can hand wash it and try to work with it. Maybe shout it a little bit. Again, way worse in the shadow, but it's fine. I've been looking for one online and they're like, I don't know what everyone's thinking. They're like $80 to $180. But yeah, I got this one. And I think it was meant to be $3, but because it was missing the tag, I got it for free. This is from a different shop. And I think it was $6. No, $4. $4. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I recently bought a bookshelf type situation for my girls. And I put their educational books in it. But I've got this now because I've got some big books on their dresser. And when I say big books, I mean big books, like large books that I bought from Costco. It's like about animals and facts and stuff. I have to clean it because as you guys can see, it's a little dusty. And all it's missing is this. But I'm thinking of getting a shiny knob or a wooden one. doesn't matter. And just replacing it on either side of the top handle and then these are super old my husband was telling me but I like pink and yellow makes me so happy like I love anything yellow do you ever want to buy me anything not clothing though <laughs> but anything else home decor you name it I just something about yellow just brings me joy so yeah and then this white the golden frame was put above my mantle and Basically, all the home decor I'm showing you is not even to go around the house. It's these shelves we have in the living room that are just bare. And they need something. To, they just need something. We don't have anything to put in them. So I bought some bugs and I bought some um, glassware or metal items. I don't know, but I bought it to do like a color or two per shelf, which I think would look really nice. As you guys know, my walls are like a gray with a purple undertone. So I've got this like light gray with red letters. I didn't realize it had red letters. Like I guess my brain forgot. I just really loved this dark gray or medium gray with white. I think all hardcovers were like a dollar and the children's books were like 60 cents. And I don't know, it was just, also there was a book sale that day which I didn't notice until after I was like paying. I'm not even sure what the discount was, but I forget what this book's about. I took off all the like, let me show you. I took all of that off back there so that I can just like maybe type it into my phone and remember what these books are about. But I can't remember this one specifically. You know what? I should have just filmed yesterday when it was um, a little more fresh in my head. But this one, this nice blue one back here, Women Who Win, like why wouldn't I put that up? And look at how that blue matches that. Not even purposely, I was going for a blue theme shelf, but that works out. Um, is about a Christian woman, I guess, on how she manages her, or manages to be successful. 
so why not women who win right sisters first it's the bush sisters not sure how anyone feels about that but i saw the young sisters on i don't know if it was the back of the book and i have two girls so i don't know i thought sisters first was a cute message also like i said pink uh it's like fuchsia lettering so yes this yellow is Probably just a little darker in real life with some silver letters. I don't know if anybody's interested in what these books are, but loving this like purplish gray because it's a little darker. Like if I were to ever do dark cabinets or something in the house, like look at that dark gray versus the light gray. But yeah, there's that like purplish gray. There's this white travels with Casey, which is about um, traveling and dogs around the world or around the U.S. I think. This landscaping book, which is just like a nice, it almost looks black, but it's like a charcoal gray. And this, I'm, I love this gray, but I love how this even more purplish gray looks on this yellow with the gold letter. And it's just like a little book of Italy with pictures inside and descriptions and stuff. But yeah, um... Again, not sure on the pricing of this these books, but I got it from the same place I got the magazine rack. This was $1.50, this glassware. This pink one was $3, which is weird because I bought them from the same place. I probably should have asked. Maybe it's because they don't like yellow. I should have had them um, match the prices. And this one's $3. So $3 and then the yellow one's $1.50. Makes no sense. Didn't check that out. But yeah. This one's $1.41. I recently purchased a vase for like two bucks because I we thought we had one turns out we didn't but I think I thrifted it for a dollar or two and it's glass mm, if I have a photo I'll try to insert it and it's just a square bottom and as you go up the glass kind of turns so it's kind of like this diamond effect as you go up I don't know it's very what's the word I'm looking for I can't think of it but we'll figure it out and then there's this I thought again just to put on the shelves either to put things on the book like look at how nice the white contrast this although my shelves are white so we're questioning the white we could spray this we'll see but I think the white against the gray looks really nice and my daughter's opening everything next to me if you guys can hear that this one doesn't have a price on it they probably just charged me like I don't know. Oh, it does have a price on it. Six fifty. Not the price I was gonna say they charged me for it. I was gonna say they probably charged me like four dollars. This one was from the good shop where I got the free basket and all of the artwork. This was from the bookshop, we'll call it that. But yeah, I got this one and in the good shop where I actually I like to get blazers there for the fall. It has like the best sports coats ever. Um, I actually found like the heart which was a really chunky heart but I left it I think I prefer the flower shape also I kind of think it looks interesting upside down but yeah that was a dollar these are from the bookshop we'll call it that again also a dollar I got two of them just because they are Scare pink me. sorry I'm loving the shape of this narrow on top a little wider on the bottom I love that this has some sort of different shape for the blue shelf and I love how I didn't purposely match this blue to this blue which I got the books first before heading to the spot and then even though this has like chips it's all right imperfectly perfect but yeah this one was a dollar 91 and this one was 242 but yeah they basically matched wasn't even trying let me tell her my the texture oh. sorry my sister is here <laughs> The texture on this, I thought it was your father. Hold on. Well, when you're trying to focus and it doesn't. Here we go. Let's see. What is this little watch? I think this was 50 cents. Either way, from the bookshop. <laughs> I don't know if it's right to call it that, but they always have like the cutest, um, not trinkets, but like those old figurines. They always have like the best of those. But yeah. 50 cents. This is going very no. long, but it's 
pounds. This one's a dollar. I think it's a candle holder. I just love the shape of it versus other ones that I had seen. So I just wanted to have a little bit of um, like ceramic, a mix of glass. Here we have like this candle holder for a dollar. Oh, I turned it right now. Again, imperfectly perfect because it's gorgeous. And it might not be everybody's cup of tea, but right here, it's chipped right there. But the chip doesn't go all the way through, which is fine, but see that? You can't tell, but right there. Again, I was out with my oldest yesterday, so it's very distracting when you're trying to keep your children from touching anything. Just like so got a lot of things. This was two bucks. Again, love the texture on it. And this is like a mix of gold and silver, a little bit more on the gold side. This is a lot of stuff, y'all. There's this yeah. gold tray. I'm gonna make cakes. Stop. Stop. I'm so kidding. yeah, all I gotta do is clean this up. But I'm loving this little round on the bottom. Again, I've been looking for bookends, but bookends are like $25 each or like, I don't know. They are pricey sometimes. My husband says that these are like really old. I thought they were kind of modern because of the gold on them. Or maybe the gold's coming back. I don't know. I love like the, is it art? It's not architectural, geometric design on it. And this is not my favorite color, but it is what it is. I like, look at this, look at this, how cute. Also, this was from the <laughs> bookshop again. It says a dollar, but I love the shape of it and I love the little lid. It's a nasty candle. Let's be real, right? But I plan on taking it out. It smells good, but it's just like, what happened to this poor candle we're just gonna mm, <laughs> it smells really nice we're just gonna scoop that out and clean that up and leave it as decor this one was only two bucks as well i'm not sure if there were any sales going on but i thought a little bit of brown going in with like the gold and the white wouldn't be bad we've got this i don't know if this is one of those like spitting things or is it, if it's just me but see like this twisting effect that's kind of how like my other vase that I was talking about is this was 343 and I don't know I just really liked the shape and we've got this candle holder did I call this a candlestick or a candlestick holder yeah you guys get the point though <laughs> and then we've got this one this one's silver and I don't have a lot of silver but I don't know there was something about it then we've got a little black stand I figured why not just fill a little bit of space on those shelves this is meant to be it has like a hook on the back so we can stand it or maybe it can even go on a little stand i loved the black with the gold ish color coming through yeah the problem is this and i questioned it and thought about leaving it but i'm hoping maybe i can take a toothbrush to it and some sort of find some sort of cleaning formula on the internet or something I got this little dainty black and gold watch with a genuine leather strap, seven bucks. This one was, I didn't mention it, was only $2.50. I could have mentioned it, I don't know, I've got mine brained, you guys already know. This one was $3.43 and this one was $1.91, $4.40. Mommy? Kind of pricey. I Mommy? wish I could have gotten this for like $2. Mommy? So if you've seen, we've done a little bit of pink, blue, yeah. white. The gold copper feel and black so now we've got some green going on this tin was 90 cents I'm really loving this green also for this like area hold on there we go for this area I've been wanting a pink chair like a dusty pink and it was $50 at Ross I didn't pick it up it was gone so I went back and there was a yellow chair and obviously like yellow makes me happy so why not it was a hundred dollars and not fifty dollars so I was like mmm I should have bought the pink chair but now that I have that green tin I just showed you which goes like perfectly this I think I want a green chair but yeah um hey I took the green thing either a pink chair or a green chair I think yellow might get dirty I know you took this green tin this also matches the green tin it's just this little cutesy bear tin 242 which is crazy because this was pricier than the larger one which I think I don't know who's doing the pricing but they're in really good condition inside they're not like gross 
this one's a little like stained on the outside but yeah it's got that green the blue the pink no. oh this is country bears set of tins there was nothing else also this is from the 1980s 1988 hey guys <laughs> but yeah 1988 apparently I think that's kind of cool again just a little bit of white which you guys notice I literally have that right there white this this and this I'm not sure the price two dollars and my shelves are white so this is just a just in case maybe for the books or something again I got all of these things for two hundred dollars total or two thirty if you go to TJ Maxx or Ross I'm sorry but you're walking out there maybe a maximum of 20 items 15 to 20 items for that price so I think I scored because they are things that I like um I got three books for the girls and then just some extra like informative books on different destinations in the world so I thought that was kind of cool they were like a less than a dollar we've got this little musical whatever it is it plays music and my daughter loved it it was five bucks pretty pricey if heavy duty though but the point is at an estate sale she found this little flower pot i'll insert a picture and the flowers match perfectly with that little like it's a clip holder for her now thanks hold on okay your hands your hands are full of soap so please go finish washing them go finish washing them right now your hands are covered in soap Thank you, Jade. No, I don't know. These are not anywhere. these are not clean. I don't want you playing with these. Go wash your hands. These are not clean. <sighs> Anybody else repeat things over and over and over and over and over? And then get growled at? This is a medium. It's a sport tech. But it just had this nice clean white embroidery right here and the sweater is like it's a quarter zip and I'm only stealing my quarter uh, my husband's quarter zip that I thrifted for him and I don't know I borrow it all the time in the fall and he's like it's mine he he just loves how comfortable it is it's a Kenneth Cole one I think or Van Hoosen I'm not sure but he loves it it's comfortable it is what it is I think it's a Van Hoosen one but yeah this sweater basically new can't wait to break it in but i loved how clean the white stitching was on the black i don't have a lot of silver but i think i have a spot for this she was six dollars so a little pricey there but yeah there was a lot of wooden ones where i got this one there was like four or five more wooden ones we've got this little um bunny tin i think everything was 50 percent off for easter and they had it in the easter but i love the colors for my daughter 90 cents hi there again <laughs> and this bunny right here reminded me of peter rabbit not gonna focus no we're not doing that today but yeah you guys get the point and we've got this for a dollar 91 it's just like this soft little jewelry case but love the purple and pink for the girls rooms they don't have anything on their dresser except for those books that I'm going, those giant books that i'm going to put in that magazine holder okay they're clean but they're dirty um they're full of soap go dry them um i want to play with that green i haven't cleaned them yet these were some horses for 242 that my daughter found and they're absolutely adorable but they were underneath that frame that I found and some of them have broken legs which is really sad but they're still really beautiful horses so we're going to keep these little amputees and they're on stands so they should be fine even without their legs we've got this little orange container for 343 I just love orange have to clean that but again the shape of it orange remember I'm kind of doing maybe i'll do blue and orange or um if i go with blue and pink maybe i'm thinking blue and pink will go good mm -hmm. yellow gray maybe i can do orange and hey, them, Mom. the copper i don't know let me know hey, or maybe black me. or no orange and black sounds too tigery yeah, i'm thinking the orange with all of this this right here might go all right we'll figure that out um we've got this leaf there were like wooden bowls there which was cool this is 90 cents 
and again the shape the wood tone I have a couple of wood oh okay it cut me off I'm not sure why I did that a couple of wood items that I might put in there like wooden bowls that I've had for like two years now this was 242 again it's just like a round pepper bowl or it kind of looks like a pumpkin it's not orange it's like a mustard yellow but it's coming up orange on the camera and then this one's like a really nice golden yellow and it's just shaped like a sunflower so we've got that that's not home decor specifically don't know if you guys are interested in seeing this but i got a little floral sunflower case for my oldest little sunglasses she has like a hard case but why not this is for some new nail polishes that i got i don't think this little one has a price on it this orange one however was oh the green tags were 50 percent off this was 90 cents so what 45 cents um i have some pink and red nail polishes that i think i want to put here so specifically just pink and red pink pinks and red and then this was like a really soft it might be a faux leather um bag i think it's always good to have these in the bigger purses just separated like whatever little items you need uh, cables whatever it is always good to have in a big bag and this one this one's cloth so i'm not sure it'll be cosmetics but i can use it for either electronic items or anything i'm tossing into my giant little bag canvas tote that i bring everywhere mm -hmm, nice and clean i've got this case i got it for only three dollars and 43 cents or three dollars and 93 cents and it opens it has the um key inside this is a raincoat it's really good it has a tear but i already ordered some clear like um a repair patch and it comes with a bunch of repair patches which is great for tents if you go camping it was only 3.93 as well but um yeah it, i'll try to open it up when i can i'm holding the camera right now but maybe i can get a good i don't know good shots later for you guys it's really hard with the kids and I'm trying not to argue with them right now so yeah this is just like a pale yellow inside with one zippered pouch and it doesn't have the shelf now i saw it online on poshmark i don't know if i should tell you guys because somebody might snatch it up but i put a bid on it or an offer in and stop you're gonna break the cat's head you can't just put your feet on this she's putting her feet on this like poor cats but yeah this is 343 and i have a particular or specific idea in mind for this that just looks bad there but i don't know maybe i can spray paint it to be a different color or sand it down i don't know because these are like really in here and that just like dripping look right there does not look good but yeah i have use for that so i needed something nice and big and those slots like i don't know all my fingers fit in there perfectly so that's more than enough storage for me and that's basically everything again i was talking to you guys about that one it was originally 50 dollars, so i've been offering 20 dollars for it because 50 dollars for that is expensive if i found it for less than four dollars okay the other one though has um like really nice stitched like if this is the back it has really nice stitched pockets on the side here on the back side and then on the other side and then a shelf on top to give you space and also to block whatever's down there but yeah i put it in again but they haven't responded i don't know if i should go higher or just try to reach out to them personally we'll see we'll see what happens but this is my decor haul then not the vacuum but everything else giant decor haul can't wait to get these cleaned up possibly tomorrow and mm, get those shelves i don't know give them shelves some attention i guess but yeah i don't know if i'll be showing you guys the shelves just because like i said hold on give me a sec don't know if i'll be showing you guys the shelves once they're fully decorated because like i said months ago we hired some painters they didn't finish the job that they were given and we've had to paint ourselves and some spots are like blotchy and patchy and we need to 
touch them up but with two kids and if you're a parent you know what it's like being tired even if you're not doing anything and we need to do touch-ups and we need to like repaint the shelves specifically because there's like paint like dry drips of paint and it's terrible and I mean it's just us who cares but I don't know like putting out our horrendous paint we were trying to change it white for the shelves and it just it's not the best job so I don't know if I'll show you the finished product maybe I will maybe I'll get over myself but I guess we'll find out thank you guys for watching and see you soon